helicopter crash near Alaskan glacier kills five, leaving sole survivor in serious condition. A contracted helicopter carrying guides and guests from a lodge on a heli skiing trip in Alaska's backcountry crashed, killing the pilot and four others, authorities said. The only other person on board was in serious condition but stable Sunday at an Anchorage hospital, troopers said. The five killed in the Saturday accidents were identified as Gregory Harms, 52, of Colorado, Petra Kellner, 56, and Benjamin Larachakes, 50, both of the Czech Republic, and two Alaskans, Sean McManany, 38, of Goodwood, and the pilot, Zachary Russell, 33, of Anchorage, Alaska State Troopers said Sunday. Hometowns were not immediately available for the non-Alaskans. The five passengers included three guests and two guides from Tordrillo Mountain Lodge, said company spokesperson Marianne Pruitt. Harms was a pioneering heli-ski guide in Alaska and worked for many years at the lodge, Pruitt said. Greg was one of the most experienced guides in the business, Pruitt said in an email to the Associated Press. He also founded a heli-ski company that led trips across the world. McManamy had been a guide for over 10 years, and was with the lodge for the last five, she said. He was also an avalanche instructor and an experienced mountain guide on Denali, North America's tallest peak. Kellner and Lara Jakes were loyal and frequent guests at the lodge, she said. Russell was a pilot for Solo Helicopters, a Wasilla-based company that is contracted by the lodge to provide transportation, Pruitt said. This news is devastating to our staff. The community in which we operate and the families of the deceased, a statement released by the lodge said, the u helicopter is 50 crashed under unknown circumstances about 50 miles, 80 kilometers east of Anchorage at 6.35 p.m. Saturday, the Federal Aviation Administration said Sunday. Authorities said the crash site was near Kinnick Glacier. The lodge is located about 60 miles, 97 kilometers northwest of Anchorage, on Judd Lake. The company website bills itself as the longest operating heli skiing lodge in Alaska, promising deep powder, pristine runs on some of the best mountain terrain in the world, an unparalleled alpine adventure is only a helicopter ride away, the website says. Packages start at $15,000 per person. The statement from Lodge said this was the first time in its 17 years in business we've had to face an event of this measure. Solo Helicopters has a fleet of 19 helicopters providing charter services primarily in Alaska. Its website says it provides support to government and industry, specializing in work for seismic oil drilling exploration programs. Saloy Helicopters did not immediately respond to an email to the Associated Press seeking comment Sunday. Alaska State Troopers said in a statement Sunday that they received a report of an overdue helicopter and the location of possible crash debris Saturday night. A rescue team from Alaska Rescue Coordination Center was dispatched to the crash site in the area of Kina Glacier just after 10 p.m., Troopers wrote. The team arrived to find five occupants dead and a sole survivor, who was taken to a hospital. The Alaska Army National Guard and volunteers from the Alaska Mountain Rescue Group recovered the bodies from the crash site Sunday and turned them over to the state medical examiner. A temporary flight restriction placed over the glacier has been lifted, troopers said. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating the case of the crash.